John, we really appreciate you being down here at Soldier Technology and displaying uh, the latest JTRS kits. And I just wanted to ask you, what, you mentioned that this is a real game changer in your presentation yesterday. What are the key things that make it a game changer? Well, what we believe is, is we're providing a capability, a network capability, a new network capability down to the individual soldier and we have entered this new era of the network soldier and the radios that I'm showing here to include the rifleman radio which is issued to the individual rifleman, the squads, the small unit and then the man pack radio which is a Kemp company and below asset as well will provide that dismounted soldier, the most disadvantaged soldier with a game changing capability that will allow him to conduct his mission more effectively, he, he will have more survivability and likely be able to be more lethal because of what the radio allows him to do with either voice or data communications. The long term, so five, ten years time, what, what impact do you see this having on the soldier? I mean, what, what real changes is it going to make, do you think? Yeah, the soldiers are very excited about having a basic voice, position location, and data transport radio and the radio uses the soldier radio, uh, soldier radio waveform which allows data to go over and what we found is in addition to just having basic voice and PLI going out when a end user device such as the one picture here is coupled to the transport layer radio it allows them to use applications and other situational awareness tools that give them real-time mission command capabilities and enhance their situational awareness. And you're obviously working with General Dynamics on this, but in the next, in the, in the future, what kind of innovation, what new technology would you like to see coming from industry or from s and um, to you know, help improve this even further, make it lighter perhaps, or even just take it to the next level? Yeah, that's correct. So we are always looking for innovation. We're always looking for competition. Those two things are always things that we seek uh, in, in, in our business. Uh, I think competition is good because it does help lower the cost of the systems and everybody knows we're going into some times where there'll be some austerity and therefore having more people vie for this capability would be very important to us. But in addition to that, we do seek innovation all the time and the reason is, is as you mentioned, these, these radios were purpose built to be used by a dismounted soldier, an individual soldier, not carried in a truck, not carried in a combat vehicle, not carried in an airframe, but carried by the individual soldier. So anything we can do to improve either the size, the weight, or battery power performance will be, will be something we really look forward to, such as a battery technology that will increase the life of the battery for the soldier, uh, improved antennas, and of course smaller hardware, smaller form factors, and then if we get to the point in the future where we have continued improvement on waveforms, uh, we'd like to be able to put waveforms that the soldiers really want and need. And quite frankly, we're at the point with the radios now that we're very excited to see where the soldiers will take this technology next. Uh, the riflemen and the man pack are good basic radios. They're very good at what they do. And it fundamentally comes down to where will the soldiers take this capability next and where will they exploit it. And we're happy to go with them on that journey and see where they're going to take it. Right. And if, if you could perhaps sum up the, the Soldier Technology Show in one line, how would, you, how would you say that? I think the Soldier Technology Forum is an excellent place if you're concerned about the dismounted soldier, whether you're in industry, whether you're working uh, in a requirements group, or whether you're in a program management office. It allows you to get with people that are truly interested in solving the phenomena and the challenges associated with small unit in individual warfighters, whether they be in the Army, in the Marines, or in any service or country. Excellent. Thank you very much once again for talking to us today, and we really appreciate you being here. My pleasure.